It's just a different narrative, and if you don't relate to it, like that's fine or whatever. But it don't mean that nobody relate to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. That's true, and I feel like there's younger girls who unfortunately can relate, so it is what it is. Like, mm -hmm. it's not negative per se, like they're gonna go out and try to swipe somebody's visas, but coming from where we come from, we know the girls who are swiping visas. Like, so mm -hmm. it makes sense, it could be negative to outside people, but like to us, it's a regular it's day, it's a regular day. Like, What's up, everybody? You're watching The Kickback. I'm your host, DJ Blackie. On this episode of The Kickback, we'll be talking about City Girls 305. <laughs> and joining me today is two lovely ladies. First, we got AJ. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> Second, we got Sam. What's up? Hello. What's up? How's everything? It's all right. Chill. You know? Chilling. All right. So, <laughs> so, when you think about City Girls, what do you think of and what song do you think of? Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I think of a lot of songs. At first, you know, I think of their OG songs, like when their first little mixtape came out. But then I think of the more relevant songs, like Twerk, you know, that got real popping real quick. Mm -hmm. And um, I think about Taking a Man because when I first hear... Wait, no. wait, so wait, so that's the type of song you're on. Of course, I'm always on my top of the I'm not kidding. No, okay. <laughs> um, okay. no but I think of Taking a Man. Okay, no. Um, so I think about Taking a Man because I really liked how it was a remix from um, the original. I thought that was really fire because the first mm -hmm. bad bitch was Trina, so it was nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, all right. Okay. All right, so. Wait, all right, we're going to do a piece by piece. What right. do you think about the positive stigma of them being women empowerment, their lyrics? I feel like they have their own way of representing, like, the female hustle, the women hustle. Like, you know, men have their own hustle that includes like gangs, violence, drugs, mm -hmm. killing and stuff. And females have their own hustle. I don't like to say females, but, like women have their own hustle. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, you know, they're just telling that narrative, telling that story for all the OGs. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, wait, so wait, so what's this all? What's, what's the hustle? Cause you said with guys like well, gangs, um, violence, guns. Yeah, so like you know, it's getting money, whether it be through sex work, whether it be through scamming, whether it be through whatever the case may be. I feel like they talk a lot about um, holding down their own blocks as well, holding mm -hmm. down their own families as well. Like it's just uh, a different way of going about it. Mm -hmm. Right, I agree because um, I think people assume like positivity has to do with like oh a woman who goes to school or has a nine to five real good job or whatever but sometimes depending on your community like positivity can be seen through like the women empowerment like the girls who are actually working hard maybe in a legal way but mm -hmm. they're representing it in a more positive way in order to get to the top they have to start kind of ain't wrong with a little illegal money i'm not going to lie to y'all like <laughs> Before like this week, I didn't think like city girl lyrics was like really women empowerment, mm -hmm. cause like I I never really seen like well the way how they were saying like taking like women like other women men, mm -hmm. um getting gossips like be scammers and swiping things for them, mm -hmm. I really think that was empowerment. But at the same time, like you do have women out there that actually do this type of thing. Yeah. And no, there's no body really in rap really speaking on it. So I feel yeah, like it is. it's just a just a different narrative, and if you don't relate to it, like that's fine or whatever. But it don't mean that nobody relate to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, how do you feel about them having a negative stigma, being like a bad influence for like younger girls coming up? I mean, you damned if, damned if you do, and you damned if you don't. That's true, and I feel like there's younger girls who unfortunately can relate. So it is what it is. Like mm -hmm. it's not negative per se. Like they're gonna go out and try to swipe somebody's visas. But coming from where we come from, we know the girls who are swiping visas. Like, so mm -hmm. it makes sense. It could be negative to outside people, but like to us, it's a regular it's a day. It's a regular day. Like, I don't know. So, if you have a daughter, would you want your daughter to bump city girls? Yeah, I mean, not yet. Like, like, I don't like, want her. I not want young. Want okay, her how young? I mean, I wouldn't want her to, but if that's her taste in music, even if she just like it for it to be a bop, then what's wrong with that, you mm -hmm. know? Like, it, I don't feel like I would let music parent my child, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because that that's my job. So even if I didn't want them listening to it, like, 
it's not gonna stop them first and second like and I, I need to be that influence not somebody else yeah and also yeah music can't raise your kids for you so mm -hmm. on top of that if they're just listening to it i'm pretty sure if i'm raising my kid right they're not gonna go out and try to scam mm -hmm. somebody if especially if they don't know how to mm -hmm. and the song's not really detailing it enough for them to know how to so that something. goes to my next question mm -hmm. do you think women can separate the can they can they like can women separate themselves from the music how, like, how so? It's like, because, you know, when girls, like, be in a party, and they, um, they start hearing the music, mm -hmm. like, the city, any type of city girl song, <laughs> they start going crazy, and they rapping it in, like, Snapchat, Instagram videos, like, and mm -hmm. some guys be like, oh, nah, she kind of, like, she's probably a hoe, or she probably really trying to get me. No. <laughs> but you know, God, yeah, I, know, God, no, I, God I, I forget what that. you mean. I definitely know, but I just don't feel like, because I rap city girls, Till I go to bed. I mean, <laughs> like, and but I wake up for class every day at for nine thirty-five. I attend all my classes. I get awards. I be on the dean's list. Like mm -hmm. that don't have okay. nothing to. Yeah, like that don't have nothing to do with who I am as a person. Like yes, I like the music because I can relate to it. Like I grew up with a single mother that had me when she was nineteen and stuff. So I mm -hmm. understand the struggle. I understand the story. But I'm creating my own story, and it's because I bop to some music doesn't represent like. I'm not too dimensional. Yeah, like but then also speaking on that, like dudes at the a party or a club or whatever, they're rapping to gangster money music. They don't have guns. They don't <laughs> know how to they shoot. Don't own. Girls, they can't Cars, get cars. They can't afford. <laughs> so, so we all pretend in here. It's all we all act. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Nah. I'm dead. So that's why I'm gonna hit the period part. Period. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <That's not> bad. <laughs> wow. Wow. You didn't know what she was doing when you asked us, huh? <laughs> nah. Nah. I, I like I like this energy. I like this. I like this. <laughs> so you don't think it's a double standards at all? Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's the music industry. It's always a double yeah. standard. Cause men, I feel like they think they own the rap genre. Mm -hmm. But it's like there's been there's been women that've been talking about all this explicit stuff. Like mm -hmm. I grew up on Little Kim. Okay, mm -hmm. I grew up on Mob D, Biggie, all that, you know? So it's like, I've been hearing this, but that ain't never influenced me before. Mm -hmm. Like, it just made me want to work harder, because I'm like, damn, I can't be on the radio making music like this, and I ain't want to go through this. Mm -hmm. yeah. You feel? And I feel like they expect female rappers or something like that, like, to be rapping about nicer or sweeter things so when they turn into something that's a little hard or raunchy or stuff like that they're like oh what is she doing but like i was just reading an article about eve and they they called her a pit bull in a skirt because oh, she was rapping real hard mm -hmm. but like she was still like a real cute like put together kind of girl so that's it's like should. exactly so it's like you can be both just because you're rapping about one thing like and look like another you can do both and live simultaneously so mm -hmm. it's all good <laughs> so like how do you feel about the movement like do you think that it it impacts like not even with just city girls but with like other female rappers like do you think that it impacts how they see how this generation sees women um honestly like like this movie i kind of like because like you know before like before like city girl cardi b girls like kind of quiet what they want to do mm -hmm. and it's kind of giving women a voice and letting like guys don't like what they want to do like i want this um we ain't gonna do this Mm -hmm. Like you telling guys what they what you want mm -hmm. before girls like kind of like the guy was always taking the charge, so I kind of like you know I'm kind of feeling this little movement going on, okay. the old man empowerment movement. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, so my question I had before, right before I forgot, do you think like their buzz getting crazy because like it been so quiet like this little type of um content of music they promoting? Been yeah. quiet for a while because like when Nicki came out, it wasn't really more of a like mm -hmm. um. Talk about like, like really like sex appeal. Mm -hmm. It was more like kind of being nice, sweet with it, not too aggressive with the sex. Um. Well, I think Nicki when she did come out, she did have like that hard sex appeal kind of thing. But then mm -hmm. I feel like it started quieting down. I don't know. I guess maybe because her music wasn't as good anymore. People wasn't really vibing with she it. Had and she switched to the pop, pop thing. And then mm -hmm. we were like, mm, we're not really feeling this. Mm -hmm. But then, so it was quiet for a minute, and then like Cardi B came out with like some like crazy sex appeal, and we were, and the girls were like, "Yo, we missed this. We like this. Mm -hmm. Let's do yeah. this again." So then, when the City Girls came out, just like a, a year right after her, I think Cardi definitely helped them like blow up with that because if they came out before Cardi, people would have looked at them crazy, like mm -hmm. more crazy than they already look at them now. But like, it wouldn't have worked as well as it did. That's luckily for them. Yeah. 
<laughs> you got anything to say about it? All I, all I have to say is that was a fin act. <laughs> okay, wow. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we know that JT locked up, right? What JT, you, JT, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> So when you when she come out next year, what do you think is gonna be the next step? Like what's gonna be next for City Girls? What a world tour! Right, I just feel like they should take their brand to that extra step. You know, I feel like they should, you know, become business women now mm -hmm. because I feel like they have the platform to do so. Mm -hmm. They have you the know? fans to do so. I see growth like, in their future. Business women, yeah. what way? Like I feel like you know they should start like the entrepreneurship thing mm -hmm. you know like starting business doing charities like did they, they trademark period they yeah they need to trademark all that all that oh, just like how Cardi did the yeah yeah the okra yeah you know oh, wow. make money off that they like you know I feel like that's smart like I I respected Cardi for that because that's making business women moves that's to you securing mm -hmm. your bag and your future like that's what Beyonce and them did that's what every um rapper and anybody in the music industry does so i feel like they should do the same and exactly. nothing should be stopping them and i know definitely like doing tours world tours will definitely like solidify their mm -hmm. bank accounts like they can make straight money off of that and they have fans literally around the world that like, you don't even mm -hmm. think listen to them so as soon as they go on tour i'm gonna try to be out there <laughs> and then we're gonna last question so what y'all think about the um the song twerk the video love that video it's my yeah video. I'm bisexual, so <laughs> I enjoy ass. Because in that whole video, there was, no, there was no guy in it at all. No guy. I, I actually enjoyed that because guys really just be interrupted and stuff. No guys facts. just be in the way. Like, I'm trying to see some ass. That's I'm all I was trying to see, too. But then on top of it, like, for a class, I had, to write, <laughs> I had to write a paper on a music video, and I'm dead choosing twerk music mm -hmm. video because I really just felt like it was just really <laughs> nice. Oh, I know what I, I took that class last year. Yeah. Semester. But I feel like it was important to see that because, like, I feel like a lot of men these days mm. feel like women do stuff for them. Like, I'm sorry, I never woke up with a thought in my mind and be like, niggas is gonna fuck with this today. I wake up and be like, oh, you know, this is what I wanna do. This is how I'm feeling. This is how I'm gonna look. And I feel like that's what that video represented a lot. Yeah. It was just women doing you know, what they wanted, having fun, enjoying their day. And a lot of talent. And a, a lot, lot of talent. talent. <laughs> so, back talent to the woman empowerment. Stuff. I feel like it was definitely women. I mean, they were doing things that other women would sit there and be like, wow, I can't do this. Like, this is, I'm really proud of, well, some women, depending on who they are. But, like, I was really proud of them. Like, right. who was the, the girl who flipped off the boat into the yeah. water? I said, yes. I was so, like, do that. Did y'all see the um, the extended video with the elderly people? Elderly no, women? I meant to oh, watch yeah, that on YouTube. I, seen a you little saw bit of it. I didn't get to see it. Was, it. it was a little like, People have to get their grandmother. They was really, <laughs> grandma was really going crazy. I'm dead. Well, after this, okay. like, I can't go watch that. A baddie always a baddie. All right. Okay. So, <laughs> all right, so we're going to move on to the lyric battle, see if they really know the City Girls. Oh, jeez, <laughs> City Girls lyrics. And you're going to see what's up. All right, so before we see who go first, you got to do rock, paper, scissors. You know, bring back oh, we, always do rock, paper, we do rock, paper, scissors just to see who's going to wash the dishes. All right. <laughs> Oh, look at this little practice. Are you ready? Oh, wait, best two out of three? Yeah. All right. I'm David. Rock, pick, six, 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 shoot. Oh. Ah, all right. Rock, pick, six, 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 shoot. Rock, pick, six, 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 shoot. Rock, pick, six, six, shoot. I win. Uh, all right. What you, so what you got to uh -huh. do is you got to guess who said it, mm -hmm. JT or Young Miami, mm -hmm. and the song. So if you, right. get, if you get, instead of you get both of them, say you get only the name right and not the song, you get half a point. Damn. But if you or vice versa. But if you get both, you get one whole point. Okay. And you're gonna make it short. You're gonna make it to only like four songs total. We can't help each other. No, <laughs> no you can Everyone steal. Can. You, yeah, can. Okay. you can you can steal. Okay. Okay. So if you don't get the full point, I'm gonna ask you if you wanna take it. Okay. Take yes. And vice versa. Okay. Alright. Only you're going up to two points. Okay. Usually it's three, we're gonna go with two. Because it's the part one to City Girl. Be tuned for part two. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> I can't wait for you to read these. Put your best city girls. Yeah. Oh, 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 I need to draw. I need to hear all of it. Yeah, come on. Um, it ain't gonna be it. I'm gonna try. I'm see. Come on. <laughs> all right, Sam. Where them niggas who gonna eat it? Fuck it all night. Where you at? Cause I'm nasty and good pussy. Don't get tired. <laughs> Head so far. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, whoa. Why are you whoa. shocked? Whoa. <laughs> We gonna pause that. It's Whoa. okay, you got it. We gonna pause it. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta say, I try. Wow. All right. All right. Are we gonna go to take two? Take two. All right. Just, just, I'm shocked. <laughs> Usually, uh, when I when I hear them say it, I'm like, okay. But when you actually read, like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Okay. Wow. Wow. 
Wow. I'm dead. Imagine your daughter rapping this. Wow. She rapping she like it. Just don't rap it in front of it's middle school. They're not going to do it in front of me. That's, that's a fact. fact. But I mean, you was probably cursing in middle school. Come on now. Damn right. Exactly. Yeah. Just don't do that yeah. shit in front of me. Yeah, that's but you ain't doing it in front of your mama, so it's all just right. different. <laughs> all right. We're them niggas who going to eat it. Fuck it all night because I'm nasty. Getting good pussy, you don't get tired. Head so far, I might let you hit beer. <sighs> I'm trying to remember what song this is, but I think... I think JT said this, but I don't know the song. Alright. Do you know the song? You can steal now. Hold on, I'm trying to think. I don't know. I feel like you can see my answer, so I'm going to have to like... No, I'm trying to see. Alright, I'm going to take off my glasses. Yeah, so she really can't see. Oh, okay. You blind blind. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> nah, I can't think of the song. Can I get it right? Alright, so you get half a point. It was JT. Yeah. And the song was Sweet Tooth. This was the first oh, song okay. I ever heard oh. of um, City Girl. I'm not going to lie. When I heard it, I thought it was like Trina at first. That's good. Yeah, That's a compliment. Because yeah. like, you know, full <laughs> of the sound. Generational mm -hmm. bad bitches. Facts. Okay. <laughs> 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 Why is this face like? <laughs> wow. I'm um, dead. It's your turn. Alright, AJ. Go ahead. Cloud chasing hole. Pick up the wrong one. Lay back, but try me. I'm gonna go dumb. I'm gonna go dumb. Keep the same energy, ho. Don't run. Name a bitch that's hot to me. I don't know none. Bitch is sweet. Worry about me. Get your ass beat. Out of my comments with that hate, bitch. I'm still gonna eat. I don't know the song, but they yuck my energy. Okay. Damn. I don't know this. I, okay. Damn. Alright, can I get a clue? Is it the first you know song? Wait, hold on, hold on, wait, hold on. Before you say it, you don't wanna try to take a shot for the song. No, no. Oh. <laughs> you don't know the song. No, you know what this feel like when they be doing that um, lyric thing or rap genius? <laughs> they have to rate the bars. Yeah. Five out of five. That's BT. Oh, Nah, okay. Does it say the album it's in or no? Hmm? Is it the first or the second one? Um. Is it in girl code or is it in? <laughs> Oh, come on, come on. That's too much. Nah, they got like 20 like, songs in each. I feel like the lyric kind of explains itself, so I don't feel like I, I can't even I forget. I, I don't know the song. You know, take a guess. I was trying to guess, but you would have helped me. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you would have helped me. Alright, so y'all want me to reread the lyrics? Y'all got it? Y'all want me to take a guess? Alright, read the yeah. first. No, nah, read the first. I, I need to prep for this. I need to, you just got to keep going. And then I'm going to say this one more time and then. Alright, alright. Mm. All right. Cloud chasing hoe, you picked the wrong one. Lay back, but try me. I'm gonna go dumb. Keep that same energy, ho. Don't run. Any <laughs> bitch that's tired, that tried me, I don't know none. Bitch sweet, bitch is sweet. Worry about me, get your ass beat. Out, out of my comments with that hate, I bitch. I know it. I'm still gonna eat. I know it. Babe. I'm about to be tired because you gonna tell that me That one line, know, right. That one line is really getting to me. All right, we give up. Yeah. Cloud chasing. There it is. Oh, I was. Um, I didn't want to say. I thought it was too obvious. It, it, it kind of was. That's, <laughs> that's why. Like, like, I feel like that's what he was overthinking. <laughs> he was like, "I right, fuck right. with them. I'm gonna do that." So you get point five. You got point five right now. Oh, cause you young, say young Miami. Yeah. You can just tell their flow is different. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So. All right. It's my turn. Yes, we are down. Cause we got the last two songs. Stop it. Wait, how y'all moving? I, I think it might be a tile. First time. Nah, we'll see. You never know. You ready? Mm-hmm. All right, I hope you get a whole point. Or you I hope you do too. Oh, wow. Good sportsmanship. Fresh shit, right? Oh, you're so uh, But you know, this is a competition. We, we, I'm going to win if I got to hear it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, give me that. Give me the cash. Fuck a wedding ring. Put some ice on my neck. Cash, mo cash money. Watch it bling bling. Always talking about the block <laughs> hot, but you want a bad bitch in Javonsi socks. Make the pieces hit or no, nigga Millie rock. Time up. Your game's over. Shot clock. If you ain't got the bread, you ain't got a shot. Cause I'm that bitch. Yeah, real hot. Period. Ooh, period. Period. Um, like that I love that. Yeah, but that part, the okay. part was in it. But, yeah. I know, but I felt it. it oh, it. I, you need you to know. go right? away. Yeah. I'm about to steal. Girl, oh, damn, I like this. I like this. <laughs> All right, I think. Who said it? I think. I think Young Miami said it. 
-hmm. Okay, and I think this song is. Say the last part again. <laughs> I'm gonna say the last two lines. Alright. If you ain't got that bread, you ain't got a shot. Cause I'm that bitch. Yeah, real hot. Is this? Damn it! What is the name of this damn song? Don't steal nothing yet. Okay, I'm um, saying. I may not even be right either. Ten. I'm coming. Alright, alright. Nine. I'm gonna guess. Eight, is it? Seven. What's the song? Six. <laughs> five. Four. Is it? Three. Is it, um, two. I'm gonna just guess where the bag at, just because I can't think of nothing else. All right. You said Young Miami where the bag at? Yeah. All right. I go. think it's JT, and I think it's also where the bag at. All right. <laughs> You're wrong. Damn. Um, yeah, it's JT. It's, um, fuck that nigga. Oh. oh. You know what's yeah, crazy? Yeah. I was just listening to that song. Yeah, I really yeah. thought that was about Young Miami Vice. Come on, yeah, you bugging. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's too level for Young Miami. I thought it was one of a good, good one. Nah, you know? she only got that one time. Give me the cash, fuck the way and read. Fuck you, I saw my nigga cash, fuck the way and read. I was just listening to fuck that nigga because I felt it. Oh, that's it. Okay, so... Okay, so you're at one whole point. <laughs> you're at point five, and you're about to go out with a bang right now. Okay. I hope you get it right. I hope you get it right. Now. <laughs> no, I'm really disappointed though. Why are you mad at me? Like, you can't tell the difference between JT and Young Miami. Okay, I yeah. could, but sometimes Young Miami comes through. But like, that's sometimes. Mm, that's so not I thought this was time one of the times. She's so like the calm. It's been like, like three times, and I feel like it's really. But it's like JT more the real rapper, rapper. Yeah, I know. Miami, maybe she could just she flow nice. I thought JT wrote this part and made Young Miami say it. So <laughs> yeah, that's their little part. I pie. swear yeah, I don't think that's Nobody confirmed it though. So how you I feel like it is though. I feel like they're right there. Okay, okay, alright. Ready? Okay. Hope she loses. Shut the hell up. Alright. Oh, my eyes hurt. Alright. Did the dash in the ro rover like it's fast and furious? He see my numbers in his phone. Now he's acting curious. Pause. Bitch. Pause. I know this. <laughs> Damn! That's J. No, no, no. That's Young Miami. And that's, um... You want me to finish it? <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't remember this. Oh, act up. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> you know what? She cheated. She I saw did. your phone. No. She's been lying with them glasses. First of all, I ain't seen nothing. I had to sing the whole song just to even get the thing. Like. All right, I want to be. He going to buy me Gucci if I ask for it. Mm -hmm. He can class in it. That is dumb. Oh, okay. Easy. No wonder you needed to stop. Okay. That's not so fair. You need to some easy ones. It's not fair. Was it really? Yes, was it, it was. Really? Act up is, no, is on the billboards right now. Like, what? It's hot. All right. All right, but that so. didn't mean that I know what this whole was saying. <laughs> It could be popular, but I don't mean. She All got right. a different jaw than me. They have to be pop. Alright, shout out to shout out to AJ for getting that two two points from Sam at point five. Although this was a point five. Oh, <laughs> to give you the benefit of the doubt, this, this was a short lyric battle, this first right. shortest so one. Because, you know. Even you know what? You know but, what? Alright, but. It's okay, it's okay, Sam, that you got a point five. You <laughs> come, yeah, you can come back. You can come back. You can come back. You can come back. You know. <laughs> it's okay that you got a point five. It's like, like this is, you going to come back. I'm going to bring you back when you have, we have a longer um, lyric battle uh -huh. game. This is short because. Be ready. It's, it's a funny. part one. It's part one. <laughs> you know, stay tuned for part two. Oh yeah, that's a part two. Yeah. Ooh. See, so y'all, y'all need to come on part two. Y'all come on part two. Okay. Oh yeah. But I want to say thank you to the two lovely ladies for popping out and having fun and sharing their knowledge on City Girls. But <laughs> good job, congratulations to winning. All right. Well, thank See you. Part two. <laughs> Period. Oh. Let me just give a few closing words. You know, <laughs> don't let these. Wait, 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 wait. That one right there. Don't let these broke ass, fake ass, fraudulent ass, crusty, dusty, musty ass niggas tell you what to do, ladies. Why you should know, stick this line for one of these songs? <laughs> and keep that same energy all the time. And you also, know, free JT. Free JT. Period. Backwards. All right. Wait.
We a little ghetto. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, y'all didn't, didn't hit the thing. Y'all didn't hit the... Yes, I did. Period. Poo. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? That's nah, that's bad. Yeah, because I was going to tell us three. No, 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 no,